Let's learn how to turn this ordinary photo to this really cool dramatic retouched photo in Photoshop. First thing first, if you have a raw photo, then it's much better because you have more information to work with. Unfortunately, this is a JPEG. And if you want to download this JPEG, I will leave the link down there in the description. It's from Envato Elements. So let's start. I will make a copy of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J. And then I will turn this into a smart object. And I want to go a little bit into camera filter right there just to tweak it a little bit to make a little bit more wider dynamic range if I can say like that. So basically what I like to do is to go with the highlights a little bit down, maybe boost the whites up and shadows a little bit up and I can add a little bit contrast here and there. And let's see, maybe a little bit brighter or not so because the final effect will be darker. So basically, I can go like, like this. Okay, and that, that will be our starting position. So it's not a huge difference. So let me show you before and after, but it's already looking better. You can see even more details here in the face. See, before and after, really cool. I like this starting position. Okay, the idea is to make the subject pop out by making the background darker and a dodging and burning subject and uh, adding few colors here and there, basically emphasize the already uh, presented colors and information. So how to do that? Let's start with the background. I will go with the exposure adjustment layer and just move everything down, probably like that, maybe, maybe even more, something like that. Then I will go here and invert it, Control Command I, and I will use really soft, nice brush with maybe 50% opacity. And don't forget I have a pen with a pressure sensitivity so I can control my pressure also with a pen. And I will slowly, unzoom this because it's easier for me to work, slowly make everything darker. You can select subject and do only on the background, but here in this case, I want to blend it nicely with the subject. So I don't want to go with subject selection. But also that's an option. Let's move this away. So I want this part to be darker and also this part to be darker. And this edge is like a vignette. Really cool. Okay, this is decent. Maybe this a little bit darker. And let's see, this is already better. So before and after we already have some isolation of the subject. So our, our eyes are now going definitely here. Okay, so this is a start. Then I want to go here and use hue and saturation adjustment layer and clip it to affect this layer. So everything that we did here, I want to desaturate a little bit. So let's see, this is before, this is after you can see that we desaturated, let's go all the way down, desaturated these darker parts. I don't want to go all the way down, but something like this is pretty cool. Okay, the next step, is to go and play a little bit with the subject. So what we will do here, let's see. So I'll go and use black and white adjustment layer right there, and I will put it into luminosity blending mode. And what I like to do here is to play with the wolf here. So basically I will darken these reds, you can see, and maybe brighten the yellows or something like that looks cool. If I go down with the yellows, I don't care about the eyes now. I'm looking just for the fur here. So basically this portion, but I like it something like that, right? I will invert it, Control or Command I, but before that, let's boost it a little bit brighter. Control or Command I right here in a mask and with again, really nice soft brush, white color. I will go and just paint back the details where I want them to be. So. I want these parts a little bit darker. And I always like to do this incrementally, slowly, don't rushing, so it's better to do that like It's better on 50 or 20% than 100% and just paint it all over. This is much better because you will blend things better. So this is my recommendation. You can do whatever you want, obviously. But this looks cool. Right, so now what I like to do here is to go and use, for example, where it is, it's all the way down here, gradient map. 
and gradient map is cool because we will have some kind of real cool result, but not like this. So I want white to be all the way here and I want black to be all the way there. Okay, and somewhere in the middle, I want some kind of brownish tone. So something like, like this and I will move it, let's see, I will move it somewhere here. Press OK, invert it, Control Command I and again with the same brush I will just paint right there. Just add a little bit more brown where the brown is already presented. So it's right here on the ears and here on the face a little bit. Just emphasizing the things that are already there but you don't have to do that. You can basically paint like this if you want. No problem. So you can do whatever you want. It's totally up to you. However you think this looks beautiful. And this is cool. Also, I want to go back to the exposure here and I want to make this a little bit darker. This part right there. This will be in shadow. Okay, perfect. Maybe a little bit more of this. Also a little bit more down here and that's cool. Right now let's go and use curse adjustment layers and make the wolf dodge and burn it a little bit. So I want to make few parts darker. Control command I to invert it. This is B for burn and another curve. I want to go with a little bit brighter tones. So like that, invert it, control command I and this is D for dodge. So this is my dodge and burn curves and what I like to do here is to go like, okay, let's go here first with the burn and change it into luminosity blending mode to affect only lights, not colors. So here I want to make this part darker. This part definitely darker part darker. The light is coming from the top here somewhere but we will tweak that even more and emphasize this even more. I want this a little bit darker outside also. Not too much but something like, like that. And I always like to unzoom and zoom back in a few times to see better what I did so before and after you can see pretty decent result. Also we can go in and add some details to the eyes if you want. Darken few things here and there. Maybe this is not so important on this one because mm, it's not so close up but it's okay. Also to the dodge here I can go and play with some eyes details also here just brightening some parts like this okay so let's see before and after yeah I really like it that's cool eyes looks really cool and also I want this part here nose to be brighter the eyes maybe this is too much a little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit up here. Also, we can do a little bit on the ear stop here and here. I see that I have smoothing on. I don't need this smoothing. Okay, like that. So, classical dodge and burn thing. I will again go with the darker parts and make a few things darker here and this looks decent. Okay, then go and dodge, add a brightness a little bit here on the highlights on the nose. All right, that looks cool. Also, I want to go with saturation adjustment layer and boost the saturation a little bit or a little bit more, something like this. Invert it, Control Command I, and again with a brush, just add 
the saturation here and there. Also the eyes a little bit more saturated, this part right there. Basically those orangey things I want to be more emphasized. Not so much in the shadows here. And now I want to merge everything together into one layer, shift Control alt e or shift command option e on a Mac. We can go to Smart Object if we want and then go to Filter, Camera and do a few things there. Okay, so basically I will go and add a little bit more contrast, just a little bit, then I will go here to Colors and I will just add a little bit more vibrance, nothing special. Then go to the effect and I want to add texture. So see, I want to add these details right there, a little bit clarity, don't overdo it, and even more vignette. And I want to feather it a little bit, so this is cool. And this is cool also. And then I will go down there and say I want to go to color grading. I want to add a little bit more bluish tint in the shadows. So something like, like this, not too much, but a little bit. Let's see, I think this looks decent. This is too much, something like that. Okay, we can make the shadows even darker, like that. And we can go all the way down. We can go to details and sharpen this a little bit, not too much, and just this part, just, just this part. I'm holding out our option key on a Mac to see this mask. So I want to sharpen this part a little bit. And then we can go to calibration, boost these reds. See, I can boost these reds and I can lower the blues. So have a mix of them and change how the colors looks, look overall. Let's see the greens also a little bit. And I have a lot of blue tint that I don't like. So I will go here to the color mi mixer and uh, the saturation of blues and aqua. I can desaturate them pretty much like that. And uh, also we can go here to the point color, that new tool that is amazing in the camera and Lightroom. If you didn't know the new update of this, you can watch my video about that right there. And I will go a little bit more towards the, the red and a little bit more boost the saturation of that. Change the luminosity, not too much. So everything is subtle. Something like this looks cool. And let's press OK. And this is this is it. So let me show you. Before, after. Before, after. Really cool difference. Really nice dramatic change here. And you can apply the same principles to any of your photos and uh, have totally different, more dramatic look if you like this is then the right thing for you. And if you like this video, press the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe in case you're not already and check out my next video and see you next week in next fun episode. Bye bye.